In today's video, we're gonna take a deep dive into the keyword magic tool on SEMrush to learn some tips and tricks that we might find useful when it comes to conducting effective keyword research. By the end of this video, you're gonna have a clear understanding of how to use the keyword magic tool to the best of your abilities, while also getting a laundry list of potential great ideas to start creating content for. So to do this, you're going to need a SEMrush account. If you don't already have one, be sure to use the link in the description for a month trial. It is more than four times the length of the standard trial. Let's go ahead and dig in. For today's video, we're going to imagine that we are trying to spin up an Ultimate Frisbee website or we're a content creator around Ultimate Frisbee. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and jumped to SEMrush and I've searched for Ultimate Frisbee. And what you can see here is you can see what sort of keyword phrases are getting the most traffic on estimate from SEMrush. And I haven't filtered anything here in terms of keyword difficulty, but that's one of the first things I'm gonna to wanna to do. I'm gonna go ahead and filter down for everything that's below 30. And the reason why I'm gonna do that is because that's gonna be easier for me to rank for. So in this situation, what you can see is that when I've reduced it by 30 or less in keyword difficulty that I've now filtered down to 269 keywords. That is to compare with 16,000 keywords. So now I have a short list of keywords that are potentially interesting to me. What's also interesting is that as I go through this, I'm starting to see what is really popular for people to search. Things like ultimate frisbee wallpaper, best ultimate frisbee, uh, ultimate frisbee cleats. So you can see that people are looking for information around uh, the sort of equipment that is going to best position themselves to be successful in Ultimate Frisbee. So you can also see on the right hand side that SEMrush is also going to tell me what sort of intent they believe this is around. So you can tell here that when it comes to the best Ultimate Frisbee, well people want to investigate brands or services. So that would mean that we would likely need to create content around things like what are the best Ultimate Frisbees or comparing different types of Ultimate Frisbees to help the user figure out what is best for them. And then you'll also see things in which uh, SEMrush is also going to tell us some informational keywords. So like, do ultimate frisbee players get paid? So these are all potentially some really good ideas right off the bat that we can start to look at. But what I also like to do is I also like to look to see whether or not we can identify some better keyword phrases than others. And to figure that out, I'm going to actually just go ahead and sort by questions. The reason why I'm going to look at the question side of things is because questions are often going to also get featured snippets. And featured snippets are great ways for you to get eyeballs on your website. So in this situation, I filtered down by the questions. I now look at the 16 questions when I filtered down by keyword difficulty. And what you can see is that question that I brought up earlier on do ultimate frisbee players get paid also comes up here. So this is something in which this would probably be a content idea right off the bat that I would think about creating content for if I were creating an ultimate frisbee website. And if I were to go ahead and just search for this, I can actually see whether or not people are already answering this question. And what you can tell from looking at the search results here is that not that many results actually exist for this particular phrase, which makes this a really easy phrase that we could probably go after. In this situation, you can see the top search result is a Wikipedia page. However, you'll see that the ones below that are more general things like subreddits and things like that. And the reason why this is really powerful is because if you've seen my video on Quora and Reddit and how to research good topic ideas there, this is telling you that this phrase is really easy to rank for because both Reddit and Quora are in the top five results for this particular question. So it really doesn't seem like there is an ultimate Frisbee website right now that's dominating these particular questions. So that's already one topic idea right off the bat. Before we get into digging into this even further, if you're getting value out of this video so far, do me a favor and hit that like button below to help other people that are also trying to come up with content ideas for their websites. In this situation, I'm going to keep on going and you can see here that another question that people often ask is, are pics and screens allowed in Ultimate Frisbee? That's a really great question. And in this situation, what you can see is that there is one website on an EDU site that is answering this question very directly, but it's not a super in-depth post. So what this also probably signals to me is that we could probably create a long tail phrase post around maybe a thousand words or more answering this question with a little bit more depth and we'd probably be able to rank pretty easily on this as well. And you can see here that this is pretty much all content in which people are giving a one sentence answer to this particular question. And then what I can also look at is, is Ultimate Frisbee capitalized? So let's go ahead and take a look at that. In this situation, what we can see is that there is 
a couple potential pages that are covering this topic, but notice the sorts of domains that are covering this topic. In this case, it's bibme.org as well as moviecultist.com. So in this situation, it doesn't really seem like this is a really authoritative site around Ultimate Frisbee. In fact, it looks like what they're looking at is they're just answering a ton of the long tail questions similar to what we're researching right now. And so in this situation, you can tell that this is just somebody that's trying to get the initial eyeballs on this website, because if I go ahead and disable the ads on this site, what you'll probably see is a ton of ads. And uh, as I refresh the page here, you can see that all those ads are starting to pop up right there. So they're just trying to get eyeballs for people that are looking for uh, this particular question or other questions that they've researched. And so you can see this is also the case when it comes to this website, Bibme and Chegg. It's super random in terms of the page that it's on. So this is all really good signal for me if I were doing competitive research around the ultimate Frisbee niche to see whether or not I wanted to create an ultimate Frisbee website. I could very easily see myself creating content around this particular niche because there are keywords that are getting hundreds of searches every single month, and my competition looks really bad right now. Continuing on further, we can continue to take this approach for the questions. Now let's assume that we've gone ahead and exhausted all the questions in this set. Well, what we can do next is we can start to move up the chain in terms of keyword difficulty. Maybe at this point, we've already found 15 to 20 potential ideas around the first few phrases, and now we can start to move up the ladder because we're going to already have created some existing content that will be the backbone of our website. So from here, as we start to move upwards, you can see that these are gonna be a little bit more competitive. How to play Ultimate Frisbee, what is Ultimate Frisbee, uh, and you'll even see some overlaps with earlier because I kept 30 in the range, but if I wanna change that, I can change that to 31. And then here we'll see that there are other questions like, is Ultimate Frisbee co-ed? How many players are in Ultimate Frisbee? These are more content ideas around the rules of Ultimate Frisbee if we wanted to create the ultimate website for rules around Ultimate Frisbee. Well, you might also create history pages, for example, here, who invented Ultimate Frisbee. So in this case, you can see some of the origins around Ultimate and things like that. So once we exhaust the question section, we've gone through the keyword difficulties that are less than 30 and then the ones that are between 30 and 60, we can go back into the broader side of things to try to see if we can find other keywords that also would be interesting to us. To do this, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to keep my filter down to a thousand or less, mainly because I want to make sure that there is actually a chance that I can rank for these, especially if I'm building a new website. So as I work my way through here, what I'm going through is I'm going to go through these particular keyword phrases and start to pick off ideas and start to brainstorm with you what I'd be thinking about if I were creating a website around Ultimate Frisbee. So in this case, you can see here, rules of Ultimate Frisbee, that's a great one. So in this situation, I might create some sort of ultimate resource guide around the rules of Ultimate Frisbee. That might be some sort of landing page where I then would convert visitors to download the rules of Ultimate Frisbee from my website, put them into some sort of email marketing campaign, and then have that lead for me in the case where I want to sell them later on. You can also see that there's things around things like Ultimate Frisbees near me. When I think about that, what I think about is potentially creating some sort of marketing page that might be able to search through different directories or places where people can find Ultimate Frisbee places. So I've seen different pages, for example, where they will essentially create a map of the United States and map out all the places that you can do a particular activity, and then they'll make money off of that particular web page. That could be something where it's like mini golf near me, for example. And so what they'll do is they'll create a massive directory of mini golf things. Or more recently, I went to a corn maze, and that's something which there was a site that essentially sorted through all the corn mazes in the United States. So in this situation, that would be one idea there. I'd also look at things like Ultimate Frisbee Olympics. So if I go ahead and search for that, what comes up? Well, in this situation, you can see that there's just some general posts around how Ultimate Frisbee could be an Olympic sport. So I might be come up with some sort of similar post around covering like, what's the probability that's going to become an Olympic sport in 2028 or whatever the next Olympic year is. And then as I keep on going down, I can start to see how a lot of the keyword phrases around Ultimate are around how to play Ultimate. So what I wanna learn about more is exactly what sites exist in the space around teaching people how to play Ultimate. So in this situation, I'm gonna go ahead and search Ultimate Frisbee positions. I can see that there is a rookieroad.com site. There is the uap.com as well as ultimatefrisbeehq.com. 
And so as I start to go through here, what I can see is that this website, rookieroad.com, is just a general sports informational website that's covering the different ways that to play different sports. And then what I'll also see is that in the UAP situation, it is a global community where Ultimate Frisbee players and coaches are looking to raise their game. So it seems like this is a site that would be very similar to the sort of the website that I might want to create if I were to create a competing website. And then as I start to go into the third example, well, this is exactly the sort of niche site that I would probably create in which it's called Ultimate Frisbee HQ. It's the ultimate source for all things around Ultimate Frisbee. What they probably did was they did the same sort of keyword analysis. They found that not all that many people existed in this space. And so they've probably been dominating a good amount of the last few years in this particular space because they're covering things like the rules, the terminology, and things like that. So as I look at this, what comes to mind is I want to go ahead and take these guys into SEMrush and then start to conduct keyword research here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go into domain overview. From here, I'm going to search for ultimatefrisbeehq.com. And then now I can start to really suss out whether or not this niche is worth my time. So in this situation, what you can tell is that in the all time, this website's been around since around 2014 or so. And in seven years, it's had definitely its ups and downs in terms of traffic. If I were to guess, this website is pretty dead overall. It's probably not maintained all that much. That being said though, it's still getting thousands of visits every single month just because it covers things like Ultimate Frisbee background, Frisbee game, disc throws, and things like that. And so what this tells you is that this really has the potential as a niche to actually create a website around it. What you can tell here is that if I go ahead and hop into the back end of this website and just look for their site map, I can see when they last updated this website. In this case, the last update was sometime in 2020. That is almost a year and a half or two ago. And so in this situation, this person is clearly not really maintaining this website, which is why Google is starting to lower its rankings on a lot of different pages. So this is potentially a great niche that I've just uncovered for you. So if you want to go ahead and build this ultimate Frisbee niche website, go ahead and do so and let me know how it goes. Hopefully from today's video, you got a better sense of how you can use the keyword magic tool around any particular idea of yours and then start to conduct research at the domain level for some of the pages that are ranking best for the particular niche you're researching. And in the case where you got value out of this video, hit that like button below, subscribe for more content like this, and then check out my more in-depth guide over here where I dig into seven tips that you wanna make sure you know when it comes to using SEMrush effectively.